Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. Now I'm going to start the next problem. Problem number 14 on financial statements of a manufacturer. So far till the last video I have completed 13 main problems on financial statements of a manufacturer. Before this two videos I have uploaded on short questions and MCQs and two videos on the theory of uh, financial statements of a manufacturer. Now before starting the 14th problem I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep it ready. Take the screenshot of the solution of 14th problem then I will explain each and every point in detail. Now, see the 14th problem. <clears throat> the financial year of Doshi Manufacturing Company ends on 31st Jan. So every year accounts are closed on 31st Jan. The following trial balance was extracted from the books on 31st Jan 2017. So year ends on 31st Jan 2017. Inventory on 1st Feb 2016, beginning of the year. Opening inventory of raw material, work in progress, finished goods given. Then revenue 246850. Revenue means sales. And revenue uh, return inward means sales return. Revenue return. So from revenue, we subtract revenue return. I already told you in the previous uh, videos also. Always keep ready a notebook, calculator and pen while watching the video. A number of points I will explain. So note down each and every point so that you can be able to remember for a long period of time. So here revenue 12,46,000 and return inward means sales return. Deduct this re return inward. Then purchase. Purchase of raw material and purchase of finished goods. Purchase of raw material will be taken in manufacturing account and purchase of finished goods will be taken in income statement. Then return of uh, return of purchase of raw material. Return of purchase of raw material. That means purchase return. This will be deducted from purchases in manufacturing account. Carriage inward on purchase of finished goods. So in purchase of finished goods, we add carriage inward on purchase of finished goods in income statement. Wages. Now factory operatives means wages are paid to factory workers. These are direct wages. So how much? 297,100. So this will be taken as direct wages. 297,100 are the direct factory wages. And factory supervisor. Wages paid to factory supervisor are indirect wages that will be taken under factory audit. This will be taken under factory audit. Then office and sales staff. That means wages salaries are paid to office and sales staff. This will be taken in income statement. Not in manufacturing. Anything related to office or sales should be taken in income statement. Then general expenses, again it will take an income statement. Premises at cost, factory machinery at cost. These two are the non-current assets. Non-current assets are factory machinery and office equipment. Cost is given. Actually we have to calculate depreciation on factory machinery and office equipment. Then loose tools, one more asset is there, loose tools, 21,150. Provision for depreciation on 1st Feb 2016. Beginning of the year accumulated depreciation on factory machinery and office equipment given. Capital on 1st Feb 2016. Actually capital we require only if we have to make financial statement position. Statement of financial position. If we require then we need the capital. Otherwise no need. Similarly drawings. Again, we draw, drawings are not required in manufacturing account and income statement. It will be taken in statement of financial position. 
Trade receivable, trade payable, both will go to statement of financial position. It will not come in trading uh, in this uh, manufacturing account and income statement. Then uh, interest free short term loan, again it will go to statement of financial position. Bank or draft, again it will go to statement of financial position. In this problem, we are required to make only manufacturing account and income statement. We are not required to make statement of financial position. So all these values should be ignored. Capital, drawings, trade receivable, trade payable, interest free loan, bank code draft. Just ignore it. Next page. See, the following additional information is available at 31st January, end of the year. Inventory, closing inventory. Closing inventory of raw material, work in progress, finished goods. Then wages accrued, accrued means payable. The factory supervisor's wages payable 12,000. Already factory supervisor wages are paid. How much are paid? 1,52,000 are paid. And still payable is how much? 12,000. So we add up factory supervisor's wages. 1,52,000 paid and 12,000 is accrued, outstanding. So add up. The total 1,64,000. Similarly, office staff. Some salary and wages are paid to office staff. How much is amount paid to office staff? Here it is given sales and office staff 1,8,700. And 1,8,700 accrued amount is 4,300. So we add up. You can see here somewhere we have taken wages and office salaries 1,8,700 paid and 4,300 accrued. Payable, that is, we have to add up. Value of loose tools. The end of the year, value of loose tools are 19,050. And beginning of the year, loose tools value was 21,150. Actually, for loose tools, uh, I mean, asset, we apply valuation method. At the end of the year, we find out what is the value. At the beginning of the year, we calculate value. So difference will be the depreciation. So 21,150 is the beginning value and end value of loose tools are 19,050. The difference is the depreciation. And depreciation on loose tools will be taken under factory audit. So here you can see depreciation on loose tools. End of the year 21,150, beginning of the year 19,050. Subtract, you will get 2,100. That is the depreciation of loose tools. It will be taken under factory unit. The factory machinery is being depreciated at 20% per annum on reducing balance method. Reducing balance method 20%. So actually depreciation on factory machinery will be taken under factory unit. So here you can see depreciation on factory machinery. On reducing balance method, so what is the cost? First you see the problem. The factory machinery at cost of 2,50,000. So 2,50,000 is the cost. Minus how much is the provision for depreciation at the beginning of the year? So provision for depreciation on factory machinery 1,22,000. So 1,22,000 is the accumulated depreciation. So 250 minus 122. The so carrying one value is 1,28,000. The carrying value of machinery is 1,28,000. On this 20% is the depreciation. 20 by 100. So 25,600 is the machinery. Depreciation on factory machinery. Similarly, the office equipment is being used, is being depreciated at 15% per annum on straight line method. Straight line method means original cost method. So on factory machinery, reducing balance. On office equipment, straight line method. So what is the cost of office equipment? See the problem you are having. Cost of office equipment is here. That is 72,000. 72,000 is the cost of office equipment. On this 72,000 depreciation 15%. Remember, depreciation on office equipment should be taken in income statement. So here you can say depreciation of office equipment, 72,000 is the cost and 15% is the rate of depreciation. 
तो सेवेंटी टू थाउजेंड इंटू फिफ्टीन बाई हंड्रेड टेन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड दैट इज अ डिप्रिसिएशन ऑफ ऑफिस इक्विपमेंट द लूज टूल्स आर रिवैल्यूड एट द एंड ऑफ ईच फाइनेंशियल ईयर नो डिप्रिसिएशन मेथड नो डिप्रेस स्ट्रेट लाइन और रेड्यूसिंग बैलेंस विल नॉट बी अडॉप्टेड सिंपली वी कैलकुलेट वॉट इज अ वैल्यू एट द बिगिनिंग वैल्यू एट द एंड The general expenses are to be apportioned three fifths to the factory, two fifths to the office. How much is the general expenses? See the trial balance. General expenses are one lakh sixty thousand. Total general expenses one lakh sixty thousand. Out of which it is saying three fifth to factory. The factory overheads. Here we have general expenses. So one lakh sixty thousand into three by five. It comes to ninety six thousand. Remaining two by five, so general expenses here you can see general expenses one lakh sixty thousand into two by five sixty four. We have bifurcated general expenses some part in factory and some part in office. Then required select the relevant figures and prepare the manufacturing account for the year ended thirty first Jan. Three different questions are there. The first question it is asking you to make the manufacturing account. Here, Doshi Manufacturing Company manufacturing account for the year ended. First, we'll take cost of material consumed, raw material consumed. Opening inventory of raw material is given forty nine five hundred. To this, we add purchase of raw material three ninety four six hundred. Add up four forty four one hundred. From this, we deduct purchase return of raw material. It is given in the problem purchase return. Is sixteen thousand four hundred subtract after deducting four twenty seven seven hundred. From this, you deduct the closing inventory of raw material. The closing inventory of raw material is forty one one hundred. Given in the last line, subtract. So raw material consumed three eighty six six hundred. To raw material consumed, we add direct factory wages. Direct factory wages. It is given two ninety seven one hundred. It is given the problem. Do I just spend nothing? Add up material consumed plus direct wages will get the prime cost six eighty three seven hundred. To prime cost we have to add factory overheads or manufacturing overheads. The so first we take factory supervisors wages. In the trial balance it is given supervisors wages paid is one lakh fifty two thousand. End of the problem. Additional information. It is given that supervisor's salary is accrued due but not paid. How much is accrued? Accrued twelve thousand. That will be added. The so total supervisor's wages one lakh sixty four thousand. General expenses are given one lakh sixty thousand in the trial balance. And in adjustment, it is given that three fifth should be taken in factory and two fifth should be taken in Office administration. So one sixty into three by five, it comes to ninety six thousand. Depreciation on factory machinery. It is twenty percent on reducing balance method. So for calculating reducing balance, take the cost minus accumulated depreciation. The cost of factory machinery two lakh fifty thousand, and the provision for depreciation on factory machinery is one lakh twenty two thousand. Subtract. The carrying value is one lakh twenty eight thousand. On one lakh twenty eight thousand, twenty percent, twenty by hundred, twenty five six hundred. Then depreciation on loose tools. Loose tools are revalued. <clears throat> At the beginning of the year, it was twenty one thousand one fifty given in the trial balance. And last adjustment, it is given the value of loose tools as nineteen thousand fifty. Subtract. Twenty one one fifty minus nineteen thousand fifty two thousand one hundred is the depreciation on loose tools. Now take the total. You will get two eighty seven seven hundred. To this we add opening inventory of WIP and subtract closing inventory of WIP. Like every problem, we are doing the same thing. Then we get two lakh eighty five two hundred. Now you add up. What is the prime cost? Six eighty three seven hundred. How much factory over it? Two eighty five two hundred. Add up nine sixty eight nine hundred. This is the production cost. This is the end of manufacturing account.
तो वन अकाउंट बी प्रिपेयर नाउ बी क्वेश्चन सेलेक्ट द रेलिवेंट फिगर्स एंड प्रिपेयर द इनकम स्टेटमेंट फॉर द इयर हंड्रेड थर्टी फर्स्ट जैन आफ्टर प्रिपेयरिंग मैन्युफैक्चरिंग अकाउंट इट इज आस्किंग यू टू मेक द इनकम स्टेटमेंट इनकम स्टेटमेंट फॉर द इयर हंड्रेड थर्टी फर्स्ट जैन वी स्टार्ट विथ रेवेन्यू सेल्स इट इज गिवेन द रेवेन्यू एज ट्वेल्व फोर्टी फ्रॉम रेवेन्यू डिडक्ट रिटर्न इन वर्ड्स और रेवेन्यू रिटर्न सो रेवेन्यू रिटर्न ऑफ ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड टू फिफ्टी सब्ट्रैक्ट यू विल गेट ट्वेल्व थर्टी फोर सिक्स हंड्रेड इज द नेट रेवेन्यू फ्रॉम नेट रेवेन्यू वी डिडक्ट द कॉस्ट ऑफ सेल्स नाउ केयरफुली यू सी इन कॉस्ट ऑफ सेल्स वी टेक ओपनिंग इन्वेंट्री ऑफ फिनिश्ड गुड्स In the trial balance, it is given opening inventory of finished goods is sixty three one hundred. To this, we add cost of production, what we got in manufacturing account. So cost of production nine sixty eight nine hundred. So here I have taken nine sixty eight nine hundred. To this, we add purchase of finished goods. In the problem, it is given purchase of finished goods are twenty one seven hundred. Then it is given carriage or uh, carriage inward on purchasing the finished goods. If carriage inward on raw material, we we have to take under manufacturing cost. But it is not given carriage inward on raw material is not given. Carriage inward on purchase of finished goods is given. That is added to finished goods. Now take the total ten fifty five two hundred. From this subtract. The closing inventory of finished goods given in the additional information that is fifty nine one hundred subtract nine ninety six one hundred is the cost of sales. The so net revenue minus cost of sales will get the gross profit two lakh thirty eight thousand five hundred. That's it. Now we take other expenses. The other expenses are wages and office salaries. In the trial balance. Wages and office salaries paid one lakh eight thousand seven hundred. In adjustments, it is given that some wages are accrued. How much is accrued? Four thousand three hundred is accrued given in the adjustment. Add up, so one lakh thirteen thousand is the total wages and office salaries. Then general expenses, one lakh sixty thousand general expenses given in the trial balance. Out of which three fifth goes to factory and two fifth goes to office. So here two fifth. So one lakh sixty thousand into two by five sixty four thousand. Last one depreciation on office equipment. It is given last paragraph. It is given fifteen percent on straight line basis. Straight line basis means original cost. The original cost of office equipment is seventy two thousand. In the trial balance, you can see. So seventy two thousand into fifteen by hundred, ten thousand eight hundred. Or all the expenses are or take the total of these three values, you get one eighty seven eight hundred. One eighty seven eight hundred is the total of expenses. From gross profit, deduct to the expenses. So two thirty eight five hundred minus one eighty seven eight hundred. You will get profit for the year fifty thousand seven hundred. That's it. So A bit we have completed manufacturing account. B bit we have completed income statement. Now last C bit. Suggest one reason why loose tools are revalued at the end of each financial year rather than using the straight line method or reducing balance method of depreciation. It is asking you to give the reason. Why revaluation method is used for loose tools? It is not being used for reducing balance method or straight line method. Here you can see for machinery depreciation of machinery we have used reducing balance method. Depreciation of office equipment we have used a straight line method. But for loose tools we are valuing at the end of each year. The, why why this valuation method will be applied for loose tools the reason is the value of loose tools will be very small compared to the value of machinery or value of the equipment so when small value of assets are there it is convenient to use revaluation method rather than straight line method or reducing balance method. so first reason 
लो वैल्यू आइटम्स विच आर नॉट इजी टू डिप्रिशिएट सेपरेटली स्मॉल स्मॉल वैल्यू ऑफ एसेट्स इट इज नॉट कन्वीनियंट to calculate the depreciation on each asset separately because so many small value items are there that's why we use revaluation method secondly not practical to keep detailed record of such assets i told you so many small value items are there it is difficult to keep a record of each small value item that's why we add up all small value items and revalue at the end of the year we will not apply reducing balance method or straight line method for loose tools the appropriate method is valuation revaluation method at the end of each year we find out what is the value like this we compare the opening value and closing value whatever is the difference that is the depreciation that's all so this is the end of problem number 14 So inshallah we will continue the next problem in the next video